He might be busy right now, but it says that he's active. Let me try again. Hey, honey. How are you doing? You've been missing me, huh? I know. I'm sorry I haven't been as active lately. It's just that I've had some personal things I needed to deal with. Well, for starters, I was actually fired from my job. I know, right? Who'd fire me? I'm one of the most hardworking employees there. So I had to get that straight new, but you know what? This job is actually better for me. Because I can actually wear my headphones now. Oh, did you see the new pair I got? Hold on, I'll send you a picture. Bing! Aren't they awesome? They can change color too. I mostly use the blue setting because it matches my room, but sometimes I'll make them red. I can even make them softer or lighter. Depending on how dark the room is. Oh, and I haven't been feeling too well these past few weeks. I don't know what's going on. Probably some sort of flu bug or something. Nothing serious, but I just don't have the energy to do anything except sleep and watch TV. By the way, sorry if you hear a lot of background noise. That's just the television. Anyway... I feel really bad about it, and I want to let you know in case you thought I was ignoring you. Besides the usual good night, good morning, and I love you texts. I saw the picture you sent me the other day. It really made me feel better. Wow. It looks like we're the only ones online right now. It's crazy, being in a group with all these different time zones, right? It's cool and all, but a bit frustrating since I want to be able to talk to everyone. Yeah. Look, the real reason I wanted to talk to you is because I have some pretty big news. And trust me, you're going to be so excited when you hear it. Are you ready to hear it? Okay. In addition to getting a new job and adjusting to that, which is taking a bit shorter than I thought, but anyway, I've been planning a little trip. Yeah, it's my first big trip in two years. I haven't really been anywhere since the pandemic, mostly because I wanted to stay safe. I wanted to protect the family, you know. But since things seem to be calming down, touch wood, I think it's safe to say that I'm going to come visit you. <laughs> I'm not joking with you. I'm coming in a couple of weeks to visit you. <laughs> I knew you'd be excited. As long as my cold lets up by then. I hope it does, because I don't want to get you sick, and then if you or your family have to go somewhere, you don't want them to get sick, and it's just a circle, you know? I was kind of debating between telling you and spoiling the surprise, and not telling you in case I couldn't make it and I didn't want to disappoint you, although we could reschedule, you know? It's crazy traveling during a pandemic, even when pandemic has slowed down to me. I want 
I'm sure what it was. I think it was either the grocery store or somewhere important. Anyway, only a few people were wearing masks. A majority of them weren't. But I think that's because here the mask thing has sort of slipped. I don't know. Anyway, if I go somewhere, I always wear a mask. Even if I'm not sick or even if the cases are low. Just to be on the safe side, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my parents are coming too. And they and your parents, yep, they're in on it too, arranged for us all to stay in a cottage right near the beach. Which was also why I was wondering whether or not I should tell you in case your parents wanted to tell you. I hope I don't get into trouble by them. <laughs> I might have to go to the store at some point, maybe Walmart, and buy a new bathing suit because my old one is worn out and it doesn't fit me anymore. You try to make them as <laughs> you try to make them last as long as you can, but in the end, something happened to it. I can't really say what happened. But <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'm sorry. I'm so nervous today. I'm just really, really excited about this trip. But you know what? I accidentally left my bathing suit out, and my new puppy. Yeah, I have a new puppy. So cute. I'll show you a picture in a minute. Decided to chew it up. Yeah, because dogs like chewing clothes. For some reason. <laughs> anyway, what do you think I should get? A one-piece or a two-piece? Well, I've never worn a two-piece before, but I kind of want to try it out, see how it looks and feels. I'm sure my mom and dad will totally approve of that. What do you think? One piece or two piece? Whatever I'm comfortable with. Oh, well, <laughs> at the same time, that helps and it doesn't help at the same time because I really want to know. Like, wait, I don't think I've ever asked you I know this might sound personal, but what color is your bathing suit? Because I kind of want to match. You know, couples match all the time, so I thought, why not? I I'm sorry if this is a personal question, but what color is your bathing suit? No. Okay. I'll see if I can find something that matches. But here, oh. let me show you a picture of my new puppy. Her name is Lily. She is a golden retriever, and she is just the sweetest little thing. <laughs> I know, right? I know. So, uh, what have you been up to lately? Any other plans for the summer besides visiting me? <laughs> Oh, that sounds nice. What else? I mean, yeah, hopefully if the weather stays nice too. Actually, just before I called you guys, before I called you, there was this big thunderstorm, and let me tell you, it poured like crazy, and... The rain was coming off our awning in our backyard, and it just poured onto the chair like a big bucket. It was insane. Yep, summer weather. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you, you know about that? That big power outage that happened here? Yeah, we were out of power for, like, Almost two days, and we were this close to going absolutely insane. Well, because
because when the power goes off, then the air conditioning goes off. And in this sort of weather, you kind of want to have air conditioning or else you're going to roast. And you couldn't sit outside because it was too humid. It was way too hot. But the second day wasn't too bad. But we still wanted our power. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah. I know, long-distance relationships are kind of strange because... On the one hand, it's nice to sort of see how this is going. It's nice to take it slow, but at the same time, I just really, really, really want to see you. And I just really, really, really want to be with you and give you a big hug and just... <sighs> but we're going to work it out. We're still in the early stages, so in time, we'll get it all straightened out. And when we do, it's going to be fine. Look, I... I have to go, but I promise we will talk more soon. Okay, I will try and make time for you every day like a good girlfriend should. I love you. I love you so much. Okay. <laughs> Bye.